Alright, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be doing the MW2 Mac. Make sure to watch the whole video so you don't skip anything. Uh, this is for Xbox controllers. The first thing you want to do is download VYZ. So everything will be linked in the description. It's going to bring you to this website. You're going to have to do the free seven day trial. And after the seven day trial, if you want a macro and you have an Xbox controller, you only have to buy it for $7. When you click buy here, it's going to tell you buy this, buy this. You only have to buy the $7 version, the basic version. But click download, open up the downloader. Let's go through the install process. And uh, after you're done installing it, it's going to tell you to restart. So, you know, restart and come back to the video. Your program will probably looks something like this. And um, you want to just find your controller at the bottom. And click PS4 remote play. And then click apply to slot one. This will allow your Xbox controller to show up as a PlayStation controller. So now that we can use it in DS4 Windows. And that's all you have to do for this application. You can press close and it's going to be in the bottom right arrow. After doing that, you want to download DS4 Windows. Make sure to download version 3.1.4 or older. If we download anything newer, I can't really guarantee that it works. Then you want to click Assets. And you want to find the x64.zip. And you also want to download .NET Runtime x64. It's going to bring you to this website. It's going to download. So let's just click install. It's going to install everything for you and then, you know, you're good. Now you're going to want to open up the DS4 Windows folder. If it didn't open, you're going to need to install. Go to this website, click the blue button twice, and uh, there will be instructions on screen to download it. You know, it's pretty simple stuff, to be honest. After opening the zip file, you just want to extract the folder to your desktop. You can do this by just drag and dropping. Inside the folder, you're going to want to load up the DS4 Windows.exe. And make sure if it says update available, just click skip version. This window will pop up. Just click install VGI Me bus driver. I've already installed it, so like there's no need for me. But just click next, next, and then click finish, and you should be good. If it's still not working, then maybe restart. Now, once you connect to DS4 Windows and everything is working, it should look something like this. I'll say DualSense if your controller is a PlayStation controller, and I'll say something like DualShock Wii One or something like that if you're on Xbox and you're using the Wii USD. Make sure if you have a PlayStation controller not to use VOSD, it won't work. You can use this Bluetooth or wired. I am using this Bluetooth on my PlayStation 5 controller and you just want to click edit. You need to put the macro on either L3 or touchpad. If you put it on triangle, you won't be able to swap armor plates. I'm going to use left stick. Then you want to click record a macro. Now what I do is I click record delays. Then I click record and I just YY. And now if you want it to be realistic, I guess you could use this, but I changed the settings to everything 45, click save. And now the macro, once you go in game, it should work. So once I click LT once, the macros, as you can see, now if you spam it, it's going to mess up. It's going to switch to your secondary. So there is timing to it, but sometimes you can use this to your advantage. So. If you double click it, you see how it switches to my primary. This all comes down to your settings, so your MS. If you're using like a higher delay, it might be easier, it might be harder. I don't really know, but I use 45 MS and it never messes up as long as you time it right. So I can like run around the whole map. Now for some fixes. If you bought the game on Steam and it's not working, you want to enter big picture mode from the top right of the screen, then click settings, go into controller settings, and make sure to untick everything here. If you can't move a certain direction in a game, it could be because you set up the macro wrong. When you're setting up the macro, make sure it is on L3 specifically. If you move a little bit to the left, it says putting on axis, and then you're kind of fucked then. That's how you move. Another button I recommend is the share button. You don't really use it. Or you can use like upper touchpad, middle touchpad, whatever, whatever. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, that's it. Peace.